Hi, good morning. I'm Dr. Norisma Idris from the Artificial Intelligence Department, University of Malaya. My main interest is on Natural Language Processing or NLP, which is a subfield of AI or Artificial Intelligence. It is known that most of the documents at any bank institutions are unstructured documents such as PDF and also handwritten notes. So NLP can be used to process and analyse these large amounts of text for unstructured documents since NLP is everything related to human language encompassing a various number of techniques which enable computers to understand human text or speech. According to the report by the AI Research and Advisory Company in 2019 on AI in Banking Vendor Landscape and Capability, NLP is currently making its graph up which is more than 28% among AI vendor products in banking compared to those of other AI approaches. So among the NLP approaches involved in these AI vendor products are speech recognition, classification, sentiment analysis, intent passing, and also information retrieval. Here are three areas how banks use NLP. One is chatbots for customer service. The second one is sentiment analysis, which can be used for prediction. And the last one is information retrieval or document analysis. In another application, sentiment analysis or prediction, Sigmoidal developed a software that uses machine learning to track the patterns in how customers might spend, invest or make financial decisions from their transaction history. So these patterns will be compared with the market's developments obtained by scouting the news and also the social media to offer personalised investment advice to the customers. Information retrieval or document analysis could also assist banks to automate various tasks such as compliance processes. So the best example is a software called COIN, a machine learning software which is developed by JP Morgan Chase which can help the bank's legal to review all the large volumes of documents using NLP. Coins work by recognising attributes in the documents which were decided by the bank's legal team as important for extraction and also summarisation. So it analyses a document to find words or phrases relevant to these attributes. It then extracts these attributes from the contract and presents them to a human reviewer. In finance or banking, most of the documents are very large, thus computational cost becomes very relevant. So long documents contain many terms and jargons which related to banking, topic transitions and also different focuses which makes it difficult to capture all the core semantics. So due to this complexity of the documents, many state-of-the-art techniques are hard to interpret these documents. Currently, I'm working with InfoPro on Bank Negara Malaysia compliance project where our aim is to develop a system using NLP to ensure that banks can effectively manage the risk of non-compliance to Bank Negara Malaysia guidelines. In this project, we propose to automate the process by checking the similarity between the SOP, which is documents prepared by the department's SOP, and also the documents, which is the new regulations from the Bank Negara Malaysia using semantic similarity, which is an LP technique. So how can banking benefits from AI and NLP technology? So NLP can be utilised to assess a wide range of text data from different contexts. It might assist banks to automate and also optimise tasks like searching documents and also extracting information. NLP could help banks to reduce the time taken to find information within the documents and also the number of people required to do so by searching through the datasets to find 
similarities, correlations, as well as patterns. Brands can expect NLP solutions to extract data from both either structured or unstructured documents with a reasonable level of accuracy. Bank can also expect NLP solutions to scour the public social media posts of prospective customers for decision or prediction. As a conclusion, AI and NLP can be used to automate repetitive and mundane tasks which frees up resources and also capacity to provide better services to customers, also to reduce operational costs in banking or financial institutions. Thank you.